Gotta flip it on here again. Okay, so the main way to steer, you can squeeze this upper, and then as I use the, as I turn the nunchuck, it turns the motors. That gives me the, the about 45 degrees of travel, and by design you could go more. Um, and, uh, actually it's more than 45, but anyway, you can see right there how much is turning. Um, and that's squeezing this, and uh, when you're underway, once you're sort of, once you're at cruising speeds, that's what I use just the, just this to do more gentle steering. You can see that those are more minimal corrections for, um, you know, adjusting course along the way. Then to control uh, the speed, you use the big button underneath, and what that does when you hit this, it's going to tie the speed with the joystick. So one thing that lets you do is that when you, if you hit this at any time, as long as the joystick is let alone, it'll stop the motors, uh, sort of a safety mechanism. Um, then if I want, I can use this in the forward back, and that's what spins the motors in one direction or the other. The other type of steering, um, Besides the uh, turning of the motor, you can also drive uh, the, the port and starboard motors relative to each other uh, in order to spin the boat around more, more tightly. The way you do that is to hold the top button and actually move the joystick left and right. Uh, so basically this is sort of steering, this is uh, throttle. Um, and what this is doing is on the side you're seeing it's going one way. And, it's actually going the opposing direction on the other side. So this is sort of for doing, um, you know, adjustments when you're you're not underway. The tractor drive, adjusting the speeds of the two sides relative to each other basically only works when the boat's going slowly. Once you're up to your cruising speed, you know, around um, three or four miles an hour, that just stops working anymore and you, you want to be using, um, you know, ruddering those, uh, those motors.